to, to be fair to, to Speaker Ryan, what he told me was he was very concerned about the tone that Mr. Trump has taken, very concerned about some of the things Mr. Trump has said about a temporary ban on Muslims entering the United States, about deporting 11 to 12 million undocumented immigrants in this country, uh, things along those lines, comments about women, mm -hmm. comments about Mm -hmm. Ted Cruz's father supposedly meeting mm -hmm. Lee Harvey Oswald. Those, that's what he said he yeah. was concerned about. You, you don't, you don't believe him, right? And and no, those concerns are relatively speaking, Jake. They're superficial. Talking about tone and uh, certain verbiage that is chosen over what perhaps Paul Ryan or somebody w would have chosen to to articulate. Uh, who cares? We care, the people of America care about getting things done finally, taking our government back and putting it on our side. It's all about we the people and we're rising up, fed up with people who have screwed the American people by breaking their campaign promises. We worked so hard to get Paul Ryan back in there and so many other uh, quote unquote conservatives and look what they have done. Let's talk about Latino voters for a second. Senator John McCain, your former running mate, has publicly maintained that Donald Trump he doesn't think will have much of an impact on McCain's campaign for re-election in Arizona. But behind closed doors, McCain was caught on tape expressing concern that Trump might damage his re-election chances. Take a listen. Donald Trump at the top of the ticket here in Arizona with over 30 percent of the vote being Hispanic vote. I have no doubt that this may be the race of my life. You uh, listen to or watch Hispanic media in the state and in the country you will see that it is all anti-Trump. How is Donald Trump going to improve his standing with Latino voters? Uh, I give a lot more credit to Latino voters than perhaps the mainstream media would in just assuming that they, um, they have kind of a herd mentality and are all going to go to one candidate over another. Latinos, for the most part, hard-working, independent people who just want, they want to be able to have a good job. Those who are here legally and will follow the rules uh, that America has set forth, they want to work hard and provide for their family. Uh, I sure wish that politicians wouldn't worry about these racial divides that are, for the most part, made up by those who thrive on division and contention. And instead, politicians worry about perhaps what their record has said about themselves. Including, including John McCain? Well, John McCain and I, we have gone through a lot of battles separately and together, and I really respect the man. And I think that he doesn't have any more to worry about with Latinos than perhaps he would have to be concerned with in terms of explaining his record to the general populace there in Arizona. Donald but Trump I don't live in Arizona, so I haven't paid as close to attention as everybody there has of course when it comes to abortion it's very sensitive it's very uh, it's such a personal issue um, I think that the the plank in the platform is the way it should be and I respect and support and want it to stay that way and uh, when when we can conclude that the plank in the platform is fine as is then we can start talking about what people are really concerned about in this nation concerned about in this election and that is as I've said debt, uh, open borders, uh, illegal immigrants coming on over and receiving freebies left and right instead of our own people, especially our vets, being able to receive the benefits that they've earned, a growing government, that intrusion that the failed liberal uh, agenda so perpetuates, that's what people want to talk about.